Hey y'all, um, it's time for another video, video review. I know it's been a long time. I've been in this book reading funk for about six months. It's driving me crazy. I just, um, I just finished, um, Night Moves and Night Edge by Jessica Hawkins. And they are books three and four in the Night Fever series. Or it, it started out as a serial. It was going to be three books released two weeks apart from each other. Um, Books one and two came out fine, but book three was um, pushed put off for a while because she felt it needed a lot more work. <laughs> really glad she did because we don't we didn't get just a really amazing third book. We got a fourth book, it, fourth book too. Um, let me try, start off giving you a little. Um, this review might I haven't I never ever write out or think out what I'm going to say when I do these. I just blurt whatever comes out of my mouth so it might contain spoilers um if it does I will let you know in the title of the video um and and night uh night fever book one um Bo Olivier I believe is how you say his name it's French and I, I don't speak French um he ha is this very wealthy businessman, of course. 50th floor, skyscraper, you know, owns everything. And um, when he had first, the first time he came into money, the first the first night, he had went to this, this strip club um, called Cat Shop. And he had um, came into contact with, with this girl, woman. Um, and he just, you don't know. There was something about her that he wanted and he had offered her you know he said you know I really want you for one night you know I, I want to have sex with you I want to I want to leave here with you I will give you all this money and she said no because she knows that she is better than that and she's worth you know more than that 10 years passed and Bo is taking out some potential not really employees but like business partners um, to this bar on the sunset, sunset, sunset Strip in Los Angeles. It's called Hey Joe. And before he walks in, he sees this girl. And I guess you know that girl is the girl he fell in, I wouldn't say in love, but the girl that captured him at Cat Shop. And, oh my goodness, I'm trying to think of what I want to say. Her name is Lola, and she owns the bar hey joe with with her boyfriend johnny uh they've been together about i think six years or so um anyways so Bo sees her and he comes up no he doesn't he okay further down the road johnny and lola get news that the bar is going to close there because the owner doesn't have any money oh wait so they're not the owner they manage it so the owner the actual owner doesn't have money to um to keep the bar open anymore and so somebody comes in um I can't remember I feel like his name is Hank and he you know says I'll give you like 500,000 or five million something there's a lot of money um for this bar but I want to turn it into this rooftop rooftop club with a pool and a DJ and that's not what Hey Joe is and they didn't want to do that but they were pressed for money they they really needed it so when Bo comes up to both of them and he says I want one night with Lola. One night and I can do anything I want with her. And I will give you $500,000. Of course, Lola's like, hell no. But then Johnny's over here like, but we could do so much with that and we could buy the bar, blah, blah, blah. Well, they double up the money, a million dollars. And Johnny pushes Lola to do it. And they have this great night of wild sex in it. But it's more than that. It really is more than sex. The night like that happens once more. And then, you know, Lola finds out some information that, you know, throws her over the edge. And she just, she storms out of his hotel room at like before the sun rises or as it's rising. So it's early. And she just, she just walks. She walks away, um, you know, with the duffel bag of like $1 million. Um. And so she decided to, she wanted to hurt Bo like he hurt her. And so she comes up with, with, with this very elaborate plan. Not really elaborate. I don't want to ruin it, so I'm not going to tell you what the plan is. But I will tell you that when um, 
I didn't want to put these books down, which is great because it's been a while since I've read and have, because my ADHD, I found my attention just being drawn elsewhere whenever I read a book. These books, I, I just, I wanted to hold up in my room, turn off my phone, you know, turn off the TV, and I wanted to read, and I did. And, <laughs> wow. Lola and Bo, they are, they are both self sabotaging they are very destructive and they're angry and upset with each other and what is that that light I don't know if you can see it I can see it I don't know there's a green light on the screen I don't know um but anyways um uh, I lost where I was going with that the ending <laughs> the ending oh man I just I there's I really don't have any words for this, the, this serial, other than when I read the first book, I, on, I just immediately, I was like, I have to have the next part. I need to know what's going to happen. This book is suspenseful and not like the thriller, crime, crime, horror suspenseful. This is the, I have no clue what these characters are going to do next. Um, because when they're predictable, you know, that's really boring, but these characters aren't. You just, you have no, which, you don't know which way they're going to go. You don't know if they're going to go east, west, up, down. You know, are they going to be hot, cold? You, you just don't know. Um, so Jessica Hawkins, this series was freaking fantastic. I loved it. Um, the ending has one of my biggest book pet peeves, but you know, it's, it's really unavoidable in this genre. Um, but <laughs> I would... I wouldn't mind if you wanted to write more of Bo and Lola. Maybe even Brigitte. Brigitte is Bo's um, sister. Very, there's a backstory to that. She's more, well, not really more than his sister, but it, it's a really great backstory, and it, it definitely has um, potential for for another book. Um, and I love that when when the characters like that, you know, not when like every single you know background character has a story because that's too much to keep up with but you know someone that's as important in um you know in in one of these characters lives and <laughs> I'm, I'm joining on and on because I just don't I just I feel like I can't say enough good things about this book and I really really hope that you guys will you know if you watch this you will really give the series a try I don't know if you've heard of Jessica Hawkins before but she also wrote the Come Undone series um and the the main character David Dillon is um but not really based off of she the person she modeled him off of was david gandy so you know it's he's great um jessica hawkins has an amazing writing style you know her grammar is great her punctuation is great you know i asked her one time and i said you know well i didn't ask her i said i love you know how you know um what's the word mistake free that this this series that these books are and you said really I edit these myself and I said well you do a great job um oh I had my kindle here for a reason I wanted to read you some quotes there's one in here that uh when I ran across in um night moves I I just I actually posted it as a status because I thought it was great I'm trying to find My clippings. Um, oh, I gotta go to the end. About at the very beginning. Oh, let's go to the end. Let me see. Okay. Hadn't she been good to both of them? For Bo, she'd risked everything. For Johnny, she'd given him whatever he'd wanted the last nine years. She hadn't asked for much in return, just to be safe, loved, to be enough. She wasn't safe. She wasn't enough. And now she didn't have anyone. Bo had taken all that away from her, but as sure as that money in her arms, she was still standing. They'd landed their punches, but neither of them had knocked her off her feet. It wasn't over yet, though. Lola and Johnny still had to face the truth. They'd made a deal with the devil, and the devil was cashing in. From Lola, he would take her heart. From Johnny, he would take Lola. Um, now this, this is my favorite quote, actually, um, that, that I read. Bo was suddenly warm in his suit. It had been so long since he'd slept, he could almost convince himself he'd misheard what she'd been about to say. He didn't doubt she loved him still. That didn't change overnight. But love was anger and hurt in demanding the truth. He didn't want this person who was turning a blind eye. He wanted more because when she loved him, that was power. Very, you know, powerful. Not really pun intended. <laughs> um, 
this is um, another one. It, it really, um, this kind of really captures the essence of Bo. This is a short little conversation between Bo and Lola. How do I do what? He asked. Turn everything off. Teach me how. If you can't love me, teach me how not to love you. Very powerful. Um, so, of course, if, if you haven't guessed, I definitely give this book five stars. Really recommend it. It's it's fantastic. And um, great job, Jessica Hawkins. I, this is probably one of my... Actually, I haven't really thought about it. But this is definitely my top series so far of 2015.